Hello, I'm Colonel Scott Gould, Commander of Douglas Proving Ground, and with me is Command Sergeant Major Kyle Brinkman, Command Sergeant Major for Douglas Proving Ground. And today we want to talk about the month of April, which is the month of the military child. This month we want to celebrate our youngest heroes throughout the military installations, those being the military children. They are very resilient. They overcome challenges uh, of having to move from place to place. My own children uh, in the last couple of years have moved from Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri to Richmond, Kentucky to Carlisle Barracks in Pennsylvania and then out to remote and isolated locations such as Dugway Proving Ground. And they prove resilient and ready and they are actually force multipliers making it easier for me to be a soldier and execute my mission. They adapt to each location and create a network of friends that spread across the globe. In today's digital age, they can be connected with them at a moment's notice. These children, when faced with challenges such as today, with the coronavirus, are adapting to the new norm and are doing great. I see it within my children. I see it within other children on the installation here at Dugway. For a little bit more, I'd like to turn it over to Command Sergeant Major Brinkman for his work. Not only do our children show us their love and support through the constant PCSs to support the nation's defense moving across the country and to other countries across the globe, but they also support their loved ones with the constant deployments over the last 15 to 20 years of a serviceman's career. And no matter which service it is, these children step forward every day and support us with our love and dedication and show their resiliency through those tough times. And just like the commander mentioned with coronavirus, they're showing their resiliency now as just like every other school, their schools are closed too and they're at home doing their homework and doing everything they're supposed to do for their family. The official flower of the military child is the dandelion. Why? The plant puts down roots almost anywhere and it's almost impossible to destroy. It's an unpretentious plant, yet good looking. It's a survivor in a broad range of climates. Military children bloom everywhere the winds carry them. They are hardy and upright. Their roots are strong, cultivated deeply in the culture of the military, planted swiftly and surely. They're ready to fly in the breezes that take them to new adventures, new lands, and new friends. Experts say that military children are well-rounded, culturally aware, tolerant, and extremely resilient. Military children have learned from an early age that home is where their hearts are, that a good friend can be found in every corner of the world, and that education doesn't only come from school. They live history. They learn what to survive means to adapt, that the door that closes one chapter of their life opens up to a new and exciting adventure full of new friends and new experiences. In closing, I'd like to thank the parents, the family members, the teachers, the caregivers, the great folks that work at the Child Development Centers and the Child Youth Services on the installation. I'd like to thank the children especially, the military children, who help strengthen their service member so that they can go out and defend the nation. Our military children, are resilient, relentless, and resolute. Go out and make April the month of the military child. Celebrate our youngest heroes.